So to be a Barbie, all you're going to do is wear all pink, a pink scarf, a pink dress, pink lipstick, pink shoes, and carry around a Barbie and do the signature hairstyle. And that's pretty much all. Okay, so to be a baby, all you need to do is put on some pajamas, some slippers, and put your hair up into high ponytails and have a stuffed animal. So to be a scarecrow, all you need to do is wear a flannel, some jeans, and I'm adding some cowboy boots, but you don't have to, and a hat, and then definitely add the makeup, because that adds a lot. To be an Olympic gymnast, all you need to do is put on a leotard and put some medals around your neck, put your hair in a bun, and you can use a scrunchie if you want, and there, yeah. So to be a surfer, all you need to do is wear a swim shirt. I'm wearing shorts, but you can wear a bathing suit bottom if it's warm where you live, and some flip flops, and you can carry around a surfboard, but I don't think that'd be a good idea while you're trick or treating, but you can use it for pictures and stuff. And then just put your hair in a ponytail, and yeah, you're a surfer. Okay, so to be an army girl, all you need to do is wear some hunter green, anything you can find that's hunter green or camouflage, and I'm wearing some combat boots and some light jeans. So to be an m and it's super easy. All you need to do is wear one color. I obviously chose blue, and then just tape a white M on your shirt, and boom, you're an m, &M. Okay, so to be a cat, all you need to do is wear all black, and for the whiskers and the nose, I just took some black eyeliner, and for the cat ears, I just took a black headband and cut out some black triangles and hot glued them on the headband. To be a lifeguard, all you need to do is wear a red shirt, some shorts, some flip flops, and have some sunglasses and on the top of your shirt add a little lifeguard symbol we just taped it on and yeah you can have a whistle if you have one and just swing it around on your wrist obviously i'm not good at it but yeah that's all be rosie the riveter all you need to do is wear a red bandana a bun and a denim jacket and some combat boots and then do her signature pose He did the monster match. It was a okay, so to be a sweatshirt monster, all you need to do is put your arms and legs through the arms holes of a sweatshirt. And yeah, and to get these sweatshirts, go to glutamatters.com and support a great cause. Yeah, and if you want to make this sweatshirt monster a little bit scarier, all you need to do is put some face makeup on and yeah. And make weird noises, but I don't think you could wear this trick or treat. It's not the comfortable. It was a graveyard Thank you so, so much for watching this 
this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye. Blue bloopers! Hers. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Sweatshirt. 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 Wait.